um, troubling topic that a lot of players are actually, you know, dealing with early on in the game, and that is bag space. Uh, a lot of players are uh, basically finding themselves with full bag space. So my first recommendation to that is, um, let's see, hold up. So you're starting off right here. Let me actually load into the right character. And if you're watching this, just know that if this video is live, you should come and check out the Twitch, which is the Fugazaris562. Uh, watch me live and ask me questions immediately. This is the best time to catch me because I am going to be on different characters to showcase their, you know, what you can and can't do. But with that said, know this, that I'm going to be loading into a character that has no bag space, uh, same as you guys, and show you guys what you can, what you can do to kind of mitigate the issue of not having any bag space. The first thing I would do in the game is uh, progress to the story up to the point where you actually get to meet um, your first couple of objectives in the city. Once you clear out the, um, the ads in the city and get your first star seed exchange, the rest of the map should be open to you. And I know this is going to sound a little, you know, far-fetched. And um, I would just say explore the entire map first. Explore the entirety of the map. It's going to take a very long time, but explore the entire before you progress with anything in the story. That way you can give yourself and allow yourself enough time to collect enough bag space to um, not have to pay as much early on. So as you can see right now, I have 32 bag space on this character. You saw on my other characters that I have 180, 160, 150, and that's all because I bought bag space early on in the game. I don't know what the marketplace is like for you guys right now. Um, if any of you guys can answer that question for me in the, in the comments, feel free to let me know. Because uh, to put things into perspective, in Facera, Backspace, when the first game launched out, um, it used to be 2,000 star seeds per Backspace. Um, and that's, that's how it was in the beginning. 2,000 Backspace. Then it went up to 4,000 Backspace. And now, to put things in perspective, now it's about 20 to 30,000 Backspace per um, star seeds per Backspace. So that's very expensive, and unless you have a lot of star seeds, that's going to really eat, eat your wallet. So I wouldn't do that. So from here, in the Wolf King, explore everywhere. I'll let you guys, you know, see my map so you guys can see. So you come down here, you're going to come this way. You're going to make a left here so you can open up this side of the map. going to go all the way down, go into Jade Reach. You can unlock this side of the map. Then come back towards the Dry Sand Barrens. Keep going downward this way. Go into the timeless jungle, open up this side of the map, get those backspaces. Um, I actually explored all of this and didn't get any backspace because I was actually doing this for XP. Go down and get more uh, backspace in uh, the Zenkala region. Now that you're done with that, come back towards uh, the Dry Sand Barrens and Jade Reach. Make a right and this will open up the side of um, Tristeza. Get all the backspace in this area, open up the Cyclops region. Open up Tristeza. By the way, this is the first place I unlock in every character um, that I play because it has the best uh, map layout for the Star Seed Exchange, Marketplace, Mailbox, and the Warehouse all in one area right here. Um, so I do recommend that. And come down this way, go back to where the Wolf King is. Now you're going to have to unlock the North. Keep exploring, go this way. North Sparrows is a dead end over here, so you can just follow this map, go towards here. Get all the backspace there. Um, move over to the right, go to the Padana Ruins. But if you go this way towards Goldstone Ascent, it's going to be a dead end. So finish that up right there. The way you open up from Padana Village right here in this middle part in between these two. Uh, take this road or that road, it doesn't matter. Go towards Mount Margrave and open up and explore and just get all the backspace in this area. As you can see, this is a lot of ground to cover. And by the time you're done with this, you're probably going to be walking out with 60 to 70, 80 backspace if you do it correctly. See, I haven't even explored all this in Buren. Um, here's the Bone Dragon, but here's uh, north of Buren. And uh, over here, there's actually more spots to be going through. Other than that, um, that's pretty much the backspace that you can get there. Um, if you're done with that, go to purchase, go to consumable, go to miscellaneous consumables, and look at the backspace here. As you can see, our backspace has increased exponentially because players now need the star seeds uh, later on. Back then, no one really needed star seeds that much. No one knew how to price or value things uh, that much. 
So look, that's how much it's going to cost me to get 20 extra backspaces if I did this. I would never pay this much star seed for backspace personally. Uh, so I usually buy a 20 to 25. I wish I could have gotten back to the old ways and bought it, you know, bulk, you know, 40k star seeds a piece. I mean, I'm 4k star seeds each. Then I would have maxed it out on all of my characters easily. Uh, same thing with storage. So buy backspace. Um, but before you even buy backspace, like I said, you can get the free open world. I would actually see if you can max out your account storage on the PS4. Uh, account storage is huge and can be used amongst all your characters and that's where I'm gonna say keep all of your stuff from all of your characters there. Um, account storage is not your personal storage it is those th things that you use in between your three characters that you start off with because every every um, account is given three characters to start off with. So here we go. Let's use the warehouse and here's the account storage. I have the maximum amount which is 120 but you start off with I believe this many. So since you know to clear out backspace early on I would recommend putting your crafting materials because all everything that you get from your boxes of the world or anything like that is gonna be eating eaten up from your, your crafting materials uh, to kind of go over everything that you need um, these these items are really cheap you can find so many of these you could just delete them from your box um, crafting materials here like anytime I need space I'll just clear it out and dump it in here and it goes into one of these slots Jewel Fruit, Lumius, Donfren, Fox Eye, Breath. These are all important to me. These are not so important to me because I don't really use them. You, I can, but I don't use them. But the next, uh, so those those five are important. Uh, you're not going to need Jewel Fruit, really, until like early on, later on. <coughs> yeah, Lumius Fruit you're going to use to get your Alchemy Station started off. But these three uh, are going to be the ones that you actually really want to get, which is Breath Mushroom, Fox Eye, and Donfren, Grinding Stone, Mordant, and Pyrite. Keep clearing out your bag space that way. And um, let's see, what else do I have in here? Um, that's pretty much it. That's going to be consistently what's going to be going into this box is your crafting materials and your enhancement stones. That's what I have here. Uh, once you start getting more space, you can be more flexible and dump more things into it. Um, that's the way I have my stuff organized. Like the gold sigils are really important to me uh, because I do use them a lot. Keys, you can be using them in the account storage. So again, those, these six items, sealed chest keys uh, well, from your weeklies and uh, your enhancement stuff. And that is the best way you can basically handle um, basically storage early on in the game. You know, people are always asking, what do I, what do I delete? What don't I delete? Um, Delete things that you really don't find yourself consistently using. For example, um, you're going to see these a lot. Don't worry about this. I delete these or sell them for gold. Uh, don't delete these, you know, if you're given those. Those are really important. Uh, weapon sigils, keep them. Those are pretty important for B gear so you can max out your weapon to Mythic Plus 5. Um, these upgrade stones, I do keep these. These are pretty nifty. I sell these specifically for gold because um, I don't use them anymore. But at the time, I did use them a lot. Uh, don't delete your embers though. Embers are extremely important. I I still use those and I collect these. Like for example, all of these have a usage. Do not delete these. These are extremely extremely important. Do not delete these. As you can see, they have value in this server. Um, what else? Where is it? Oh, okay, purchase. Okay, more materials. Crafting materials. These are all the things that are going to be taking your backspace. Max out your uh, your cooking with this. Uh, you can, but you you can delete these if you're not using them. If you're not cooking, you can delete these um, until you get estates. You know, Bozolia branch not relevant. Iron ore, s collect those and sell them for star seeds. Delete this. There's so much of it. Uh, Silver ore, you can sell that for star seeds as well because you, they, people use that to forge stuff. Uh, you don't need stellarite, lunarite until you get. Um, your basically ancient chest recipes so you can delete those you don't need that and most people don't even have ancient chest recipes so don't definitely delete that prime tenderloin and choice raw meat um, until you start getting into the later levels and have a maxed um, cooking level you won't really be using this but then it takes a long process you, you combine this with pyrite and all you know other stuff so I'm letting you guys kind of see firsthand what what is valuable on this server cloth you can de delete that lumius root see all these plants have value so don't delete those. You can get rid of common raw meat um, unless you want to craft yourself some lunch boxes. Um, you can stack these once you guys start getting more stuff. If you end up wanting to craft curries for dungeons and stuff like that, um, 
Mordenstone, early on, please collect these overall. I know it says 1,000 right now, but these are really important to craft, like, purple potions later on or crafting uh, really good stuff. I mean, if you have ancient chest recipes, but the, the bread and butter is actually going to be pirate. Is that 333 grinding stone? Let's see. That's one piece. I was hoping I can get, like, 50 of those bad boys. So that's 690. I'll pass. Remember, delete all this. You don't need any of this. Delete all, uh, this Dawn Essence. You do use this, but you don't need that really. Dawn Essence and Fire huge, so keep those. These are just uh, drops, by the way, you get from bosses that you use to craft stuff. Um, and uh, again, unless you have the recipes, don't even bother keeping any of this stuff. You could just get rid of it from your box. And all of these are just extra, if you know, fancy stuff that you craft. You don't need the ruby, you don't need sapphire. Um, they, they're specifically only if you want stuff. Uh, if you do get these treasure map fragments, do not delete them. Um, save them up and then sell them in bulk for star seeds, or use them to uh, craft stuff to basically give you a treasure chest um, map to unlock really good stuff to, uh, for a possible mount. So don't delete your treasure uh, treasure map fragments. But that pretty much is it. That's how you handle storage space. Um, what you you know a lot of, I've seen that question a lot of times is what do I delete, what don't I delete, and that's pretty much the answer. That's how you handle your bag space, and that's how I handle my character's bag space. I only have my personal storage where I keep, you know, a couple things here and there that I use on that specific character. Like I would throw in some of my accessories into here that I'm not going to be carrying on top of me. That I'm not going to always be making quick changes. And that's pretty much it. Save all your gems, by the way. Th your gems is also a last thing to do. Not throw those away. Consume them and use them because that's skill XP. But that's pretty much it. Concludes this video. Hope you guys liked and enjoyed. Feel free to comment and any questions that you do have. Join the Discord that I'm going to be consistently putting in the description box below to answer your questions. Uh, but do remember, I do play on Xbox. I do not play on PlayStation 4. And again, catch me on stream if you have any like you want you want your real time questions answered uh, at the Guitarist 562. So that's it. Follow the socials: Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, which is the Guitarist 562. And thank you guys for watching. Um, and stay blessed, guys.